site is, it's not even the word. We've finally moved house. We are here and I am just loving it. I think the biggest, biggest excitement is that I have my own sewing room here. So now that we've got kind of the main part of the house all sorted out, everything put in their place, there's still a few things that needs moving around but pretty much happy with where we're at so far. And so now I've decided is the time to start the sewing studio. So just to give you a little bit of background, my sewing space in the, my previous place was on a two person dining room table in the living room. And it used to drive me up the wall that I would have to pack everything up every time and it just ruins your creativity flow, you know? And it made me lose motivation to pick it back up, made me forget where I was, it just made the whole thing a tedious task. So the priority when moving was that I just need a sewing space that I can make a mess and leave it there and pick up where I left off whenever I'm next available. So here we are in the new place and I think the biggest thing that I love is that the sewing room is not attached to the house. It means that you can get the fresh air, you get that switch in your mind that right I'm now in my sewing space, get your creative cap on, no distractions, can't start doing the housework randomly. Not that I do that when I'm sewing anyway, but you know, you're in your dedicated zone, your creativity zone in space. So yeah, I think it's gonna be amazing and I can't wait. However, there's a lot that needs to be done. At the moment, the room is just full of boxes, nothing's been organized. I've bought a couple of furniture pieces such as the, um, my sewing table and a shelf, and that's pretty much it. Um, so it really needs a big revamp. Now, I'm gonna take you through the journey. I think I may need to do a couple of episodes and kind of make it a series because I think it's gonna be an ongoing process, realistically. Um, but I think today the main priority is to get everything in its place. So that I finally know where things are, because when everything goes in boxes, you start to forget what you have. And I just want to be reunited again, honestly. And I can't wait. So it'd just be nice to have everything in its place, um, so I can start being my creative self again. And yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait, but yeah, this is a very new channel. I'm hoping to be a regular weekly sewing bee and I just want to take you along on my journey, my sewing journey, um, and I hope you've enjoyed. So if you think this is something that's kind of down your alley, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to know when I next upload a video, hit the bell. So um, let's get started, I'll start by showing you the space in the room. You're gonna have to excuse the mess because, um, like I said, I've just moved in, there's just boxes and decorations and all my sewing stuff and storage containers, et cetera, et cetera. So um, yeah, there's quite a lot to do, but we've got two lovely windows. We've got a window on this side and we've got a window on this side and we've got a lovely bold sort of statement wall there, which I'm gonna have a lot of fun um, designing and making really cool and pretty. I'm thinking mainly like kind of a bit of a gallery wall at the minute I've just popped this one up here just to kind of fill the space a little bit because it's been a bit empty otherwise. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think what the main thing that I need to do first of all is just get everything out. I'm gonna put everything out into the summer house that's just across from here, um, just so I've got some floor space to work with. And I'm gonna start with all the sort of the furniture and the um, bigger items so that I kind of know where I want things, where I'm gonna store things. So this is the entryway to 
to the sewing room. We're now in the summer house, which at the moment is absolutely boiling. So priorities, I've got my iced latte cappuccino, um, which by the way is my most recent discovery from Aldi. If you haven't tried their iced coffees in general, they've got quite a few different um, types. Okay, sorry for the terrible angle here, but I've now cleared the space, so everything's kind of pushed to one side. So it's given me all this space to uh, move things around. First of all, you know, it's getting serious when the hair clip comes out. So let me show you first of all where we're at. So um, I've kind of shoved everything on this side because I don't think I'm going to put any furniture on that end. Um, and I've got some other bits here on this side. Um, one thing that is really annoying is that on the floor there's this um, like clamp to hold a building together, which is in a really awkward place, which just means I don't want anyone to trip over that. So I probably will need to put the furniture around there some in some way. Um, I've bought a couple of pieces of furniture already. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to show you this, but it's a little bit awkward. Um, so this is where my sewing desk will be. I think I'm going to move this a little bit more over this way. Um, have this sort of a storage space, maybe have an extra cabinet here to store some other bits and bobs. Um, I've got my little shelf here, which is the perfect height to the desk, which I'm gonna store some more things in. Um, but I kind of want to keep some of this space here for things like the light box and my tripod, etc. Um, and there is some space up there if you want to get a different angle um, if you want to do a side view of what I'm doing um, so I want to keep this kind of L shape free but these two I thrifted from the charity shop um, they have the most amazing quality pieces the sad thing is that just now there's all new furniture just seems to be made out of MDF which I don't really mind However, they're not as good quality, they're not as sustainable, um, they don't look as good, and to be honest, they're so much more expensive. I mean, these two here, I'll show you properly, I got for a bargain, um, and we've got things like matching bedside tables, a dressing table, which I've completely um, renovated and varnished, painted, stripped, sanded, and they look amazing. So let me show you what they look like from the other side. So this beautiful piece, so this is made out of pine um, and you can see it's someone's been using it for sort of their arts and crafts as well, which I quite like, I quite like that. Um, I might sand it down, haven't really decided yet, but they've just got these perfectly sized drawers um, with a perfect depth, which I've already put some um, dividers and this is like a cutlery container so great organization tip there um, but they're just such a great size and they're just completely solid so I'm really really excited about that purchase oh I forgot to say so this one was 30 pounds I believe which is incredible and and this one here is like a little um small bookshelf which, and yeah perfect for storing my arts and crafts pop them in little storage boxes and put them on display but this storage unit was only 10 pounds i know right crazy now this piece here i found in b m so this isn't second hand this one i did buy and it is mdf but i just thought that it went with the color of the wall really well because i want to keep this this wall color um, I also thought it was quite nice as a background, but also really useful for storage. Um, so if I wanted to pop some yarn in some of them, some decorations in others, things on top, yada yada yada. So yeah, it's a little bit shorter than I thought it would be, but I think it's going to work. This one was um, actually on sale from 25 to 20, so that was an absolute bargain. And this last piece of furniture that I have in here for the moment is this ottoman, which needs a bit of TLC, I admit. Um, our cat completely destroyed it in our last place. 
So I just stripped all the sides and what I'm going to do is reupholster that to make that one sort of a fabric storage unit slash little seat, seating area to look outside. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be a shame to get rid of it really because it is actually quite useful and it is very sturdy. So yeah, so the rest really I think I'm going to do as I go along. Um, in terms of any extra furniture. I first of all want to see where I can place everything and see if everything has a home. If it doesn't quite have a home, then I'll look at other storage solutions. I just don't want to pack the room before with extra storage that I just don't need, which I'm sure I'll need at some point because I go a little bit crazy on my fabric shopping hauls. But um, yeah, for now, I think I just want to have enough storage for what I have right now. So let me start hanging things up on the walls. I want to put some pictures up, I want to put some shelving up because um, I want to bring my cacti in here. Um, I might just move the desk and things so we've got a bit more space in here. And yeah. together because I just don't want this to tip over and there is a little bit of give between the two tables so um, this chair I think I'm going to fold up for now until I've got to reupholster it I think I'll leave it like that for now but if I find any ways I can kind of prop it up a little bit I think I may do so yeah let's get on to the wall hanging so this I thought would be absolutely perfect. This is from Ikea. I can't remember what it's called, but I will. Uh, there is a label on here, but I can't see the name. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. I'll try and link it down below if I can, but it's the felt organizer that I think they advertise as putting in the side of um, beds or by the sofa. Um, but I thought this would be really perfect because behind here, there's the light switch and there's a socket. Um, and I was thinking for charging things like my batteries and you know things like that I could sort of plug things in and have things kind of sitting in here um, and I think it just looks really neat and really tidy and also hides all the plugs and things which are not so pretty now this part of the wall is just very patchy I don't know what's happened here before but I mean the wall isn't in great condition so I was thinking I have these framed prints that I've had for quite a while, I popped one up here already and I thought in some ways I could try and stagger them around to kind of hide things um, to fit here, no, here maybe, here and here maybe, let's see prints but they're just not in frames yet so I think I need to leave that for a later date but now that I know that's what I want to do I'm pretty pleased with it let me show you so I have managed to hide some of the weird paint but yeah I think I need to kind of get some more frames so that I can kind of cover up this wall a little bit because it doesn't look that nice I don't know why there's so many holes in the wall I mean someone went absolutely bonkers in here yeah, I'll show you how it's how we're getting on. I've moved the table over so there's less space on this side. Um, kept the shelving unit close to the desk. I've popped the cube storage unit on this side. And there's a lot more space here now for a chair. And if we come round here. And then just this sort of picture situation here. So... We're getting there, we're getting there. Essentially what I need to do now is just start putting things away um, and start sort of taking things out of the boxes because um, 
I think that's what's just making this feel a little bit not quite there. 